You're still watching Hot Issues. My guest is Dr. Lawrence Nenekofi Tete. Uh, Doc, uh, thanks for sitting with us. I do want us to look at uh, the anti gay bill, that it would seem as though the entire Christian fraternity would have it's, it's back in the law at the moment. The, you know, the, the opponents of this bill say that there is no need to criminalize people for who they are. Why is the church insisting on doing that? I feel very disappointed when Ghanaians, like you and I, will complain about the anti-gay bill. We have values in this country. We have cultural and moral values in this country. Men marry women. Peter didn't marry Joseph. Paul didn't marry Timothy. Abiba didn't marry Aisha too. Men marry women. Mm -hmm. And so whether you're a Muslim, or a traditional ruler, or the church, homosexualism is an abomination. But does it mean they should go to jail? That is what I'm saying. That's a stand from when you steal, what happens to you? You, you when arrested. You steal, when you steal, if you're caught, yes, you're arrested. You're arrested. Mm -hmm. And so sin is sin. And we live in a place that I, I really applaud the, the people who really stood with this bill. And for once, the entire nation, and I, and I keep saying this, the politicians should be very careful with the way they dilly dally with this issue. For once, the Christians, the Muslims, the, the traditional rulers, the chiefs are all together on this issue. We have moral values in this country that says that a man should not marry a man. Right, so, Sometimes so, we come back to it and uh -huh. we say that, that it's human rights. If it's human rights, then we also have the human right to say that what we don't want should not be imposed on us. Yes. So I live in the UK. What, what in I'm, the UK where I live in, uh -huh. you are not allowed to marry two wives. And so people who live there, who under normal circumstances would have preferred to be married to two wives. Well, so, so, the, so, the you marry so, two, so the argument, so if the, you are the, in the our argument country, is that then we should also be able to maintain that thing that what is not right is not right. And we have a moral responsibility. We have a religious responsibility to that. What do you think some of the things that is being put on us today? I've had some people come to me and say that if we do that, we would not be getting IMF help. Uh -huh. That is very that is very shameful. That is very inhuman. If we are quantifying LGBT to aid to our country, then I think I agree with uh, 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 President, as president, former president at a nurse, mm. that then they should stay with what they have. I see. But the, the, the argument is that while stealing negatively mm. or adversely mm. impacts the person who is losing whatever object is being mm. stolen, mm. When it comes to homosexuality, it is two consenting adults who have decided that... That is not true. That, that is not so true. how is it impacting that you as a true. heterosexual? You should, you should see where some of us are coming from. Uh -huh. Go to a place like Akotolante. Go to some parts of Obom, Obomu and Kwao and go to some parts of Kumasi. And you'll be What's surprised happening how, there? How vulnerable people have been abused because they lack poverty has made people taking advantage of a certain community. I was born at Jamestown. And when I go to Jamestown today and I see boys and girls that has entered into the homosexualism, and some of them are sick. And because of money, and, it's and, because they don't yes, have money? they don't have money. And I tell you, we don't even have the hospitals here. In the UK where I've lived for years, there are work-in clinics. People walk into the clinic and they are treated. Here, where are the clinics? Well, but, the, but that's, so, that's an so, authority. That's on authorities who mm. have not been able to provide for these communities, mm. for which reason young girls and boys feel they need to subject themselves to uh, other, other people who are interested in homosexuality. No, it's just like is prostitution, something. isn't it? No, but what, that's why we are saying that. Is it right to go into prostitution? Is it healthy? Would you want your child to be a prostitute? Would you want your child to be a prostitute? Would you want your child to be a homosexual? So the point I'm making what is, is progression? The, 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 no, the point I'm making is where is progression? The point I'm making is we have left those people 
um, in in the, in the destitution where they find themselves, no, and no, and no, and no, it's being imposed on us. And how I so? Think, how is it yes. being imposed on the people? Why? Of, why of, should? Why? Did should? you say Jamestown? How is it? Not just Jamestown. Imposed? The whole nation. Why should? Why should that become an issue? The truth is that as much as a lot of people are trying to hide away from the the dangers mm -hmm. of LGBT, we should be very careful that we don't destroy the the, the generation behind us. We I have see. a responsibility so the law must stand. to safeguard and the law must the stand. The law must stand, I see. And, so, and the, I read the Bible. I preach the Bible. How but much of a hypocrite that... would I be? How much of a hypocrite would I be to say that I want to be balanced when it comes to LGBT? There's only one thing I keep telling people. Don't be violent against them and don't... But that's what the law is going to do. The no, law will no, end up causing no, people to no. be violent against the law those who identify with the The law is rather streamlining I think that that bill, that bill would give us a good presence to be able to deal with situations. Right. But it will seem that the church is softening its stance when you look at what the Pope said recently from Vatican. But, that, but don't we have individuals to make statements? Do you think the, the, you know, the church is softening its, its stance with the, with the Pope's position? I don't position? think, no. The Pope, the Pope, that's why I keep saying that, the Pope is a leader of a particular religious organization, the Catholic Church. The Pope is not the head of Church of Pentecost. The Pope is not the head of the Methodist Church. The Pope is not the head of Presbyterian Church. The Pope is certainly not but, the head but of the Church. But it also means that it's coming, isn't no, it? No, it's I not. see. Let's move on to some other issues. The, 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 the Apostolic Fathers uh, consult on, on the need to, to build the National Cathedral. Well, there are some of the Apostolic Fathers who were members of the cathedral. I see. Bishop Jackie Mulder was, Dr. Manson Tabel was, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan William was, and Pastor Israel Andava was. But as I speak now, they've all resigned. Do you know why? Well, this, I think they were not comfortable with a few situations and they thought they must as well sit back. I see. Mm. How about you? How do you feel about the National Cathedral? I was very excited initially about the National Cathedral. Not anymore? But haven't heard some of the things I'm hearing now. If my colleagues there are not comfortable, I think I'll be very unwise to say I really want it done. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, Reverend, we're going into the end of the year. I'm sure you have a message for people. Um, we're going to be hearing a lot of prophecies, won't we? I have always said that prophecies are good for a nation, but we need wisdom to present our prophecies. There are public prophecies and private prophecies. We heard of Nathan and David. We've had prophecies where they say, put your home together for something that's going to happen. We've had prophecies that are public. I believe that I will admonish my brothers and my sisters in the prophetic ministry not to bring doom prophecies. Mm. Don't go and prophesy that somebody is going to die. Don't go and prophesy that somebody is going to be having an accident. There are certain prophecies that are very private. Right. Let's learn to handle it private. But I have a word for the nation anyway, and it's not a, 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 a private one. Okay. I'll be holding a special crusade on mm. 31st December night okay. to pray for transparent election and a peaceful one, of course. And it's going to be at the Opera Spot. I'm going to be at where they call, I think, the Dubai or mm. something like that. It's coming Kruma Circle. I see. And so it's going to be a very big one. And I'm praying that we are able to speak into the life of the nation because coming next year is an election. Year. Reverend, Reverend, uh, the church is really important when it comes to elections, isn't Very it? Very much so. Uh, you, you must have heard the electoral commissioner talk about the fact that there is need, uh, there is no need for us to use the indelible ink anymore. I wonder where the church sits on that because it's creating a lot of debate. I think that the church is talking about that. And I think in the coming days, the Apostolic Fathers will be coming out with a statement. Mm, I see. In the coming days, the Apostle Fathers will be coming to, with, out with a, a statement. So I think I'll hold on until we Until come the that. statement comes yes. out. Reverend, thank you for coming. Okay, God bless you. Reverend Lawrence Nene Kofitete is an international televangelist and economist. We've been discussing issues around the church, mm -hmm. politics, and development. We've dealt into everything in between that as well. I hope you enjoyed our conversation. I'm Kemeni Amano. This has been Hot Issues. Bye-bye.